Let's take up a four random variable problem and derive the partial safety factors for the corresponding design situation. Um, it is the same cable reliability problem that we have been looking at in various different ways throughout this course. Uh, so here uh, we have the yield strength, the cross-sectional area, uh, the uh, load q and the load w being the four random variables we can think of q as the live load and w as the dead load uh, and uh, there is little bit of dependence between uh, q and w they're all normally distributed uh, we need to find the mean cable cross-sectional area that's the only uh, unknown or only degree of freedom that we have uh, and uh, we would like to achieve a beta of 3. Uh, corresponding to that, we uh, then would like to find the partial safety factors uh, to be used in a design equation. The additional information that we need because we are going to use nominal uh, quantities in the design equation, we need the bias factors. So uh, they have been given in the last line of the problem statement. Uh, since there is a dependence involved and we don't want to lose that information, uh, we will uh, employ the Rosenblatt transform. Uh, as you see, unlike in the previous cases, uh, all the four random variables are normally distributed. And the reason we did that is because we would still like to stick with form uh, in these uh, PSF example uh, and um, we would like to make use of the expression of uh, the partial safety factors in terms of uh, the bias factors, the coefficient variation, the reliability index, the sensitivity and so on. <coughs> so uh, <coughs> the problem is formulated as before. The four random variables are uh, x1, x2, x3, and x4, uh, and they have been defined on your screen. Uh, and then the limited equation uh, is x1, x2 minus x3 minus x4 equals 0. And we map it to the standard normal space, the independent standard normal space, and obtain the minimum distance uh, to the transformed limit state, uh, which is again a uh, we have done that many times, so we are not uh, going to uh, go through those steps, but uh, we need to uh, ensure the reliability of three, uh, a beta of three. Uh, so that gives us a condition for uh, the unknown mean of A, and that solution, uh, let me present it. If you want to do it yourself, please pause the video, otherwise, uh, the solution is about 81 square inches. So uh, a mean of that is going to give us a reliability uh, of uh, 3, beta of 3, uh, given all the other statistics of the problem. Uh, so uh, we need, if we now need to design, uh, if we now need the partial safety factors for design, uh, we would need the checking point, we would need the sensitivities and so on. So this is the, the other uh, details of the solution. So we have the, the U star values for the four random variables, uh, one, two, three, and four. And if you, uh, if you square them and sum them, you will get a better, uh, you get a value of nine roughly. Uh, so we need now uh, to uh, find the partial safety factors from these equations that we derived uh, in the previous slides. So the B values are given, uh, the bias factors for all four of them. Uh, we have beta which was given three. Uh, the coefficient variations have also been given uh, in the problem statement and the alphas are 
uh, what we need and the alphas are uh, defined as negative of uh, of uh, u over beta so uh, that gives us the four alpha values and if we now use them uh, in defining the safety factors then we have the four safety factors uh, the two with uh, the the strength type quantities 0.71 and 0.88 and the two with the load type quantities of 1.17 and 1.01 uh, it's all uh, quite consistent with our expectations uh, the load w has lower variability uh, its cov is 10 percent compared to that of q whose cov is 20 percent so we would expect a higher partial safety factor with q than w and that's what we see here uh, and uh, yield uh, has a COV of 15% and A has a COV of 10%. So uh, the yield partial safety factor is lesser than that in uh, that for area. So these all uh, agree with our, our intuition and the load type partial safety factors are greater than one, which is also uh, consistent. Uh, with our intuition and as well as those with the strength type are less than one which is something we uh, are used to so uh, now we are ready to uh, provide the design equation so let's do that with those four uh, partial factors uh, and it's it's good uh, the way we have defined uh, the problem though the way the problem is defined uh, is the limit state can be separated into capacity and demand type variables so let's define c as x1 x2 and d as x3 plus x4 so uh, we have a nice c minus d representation uh, now uh, using uh, the definition uh, of design cd the design capacity it is 0.71 times 0.88 uh, that uh, is about 0.62 times the nominal quantity so we have effectively one uh, strength partial factor 0.62 times y n a n the two nominal quantities and the uh, design demand is uh, the sum uh, 1.17 q n plus 1.01 uh, dn and if uh, all the algebra is correct then uh, c d and d d should uh, be equal uh, the design equation uh, is uh, given in terms of the partial seat factors and the nominal quantities that the left hand side has to be at least equal to uh, or greater than the the right hand side so that's the design equation for this four variable problem uh, and these factors are tuned to a target reliability index of 3.